Hey you guys, it is a rainy day today so I thought it would be a perfect time to film a wig review video. I'm not a professional when it comes to wigs. Um, I'm still a beginner I would say. I have done a few wig review videos in the past and today I'm going to be collaborating with Weekend Wigs. The wig that I chose is a synthetic lace front wig and this one is the Silver Ombre Brown Synthetic Lace Front Wig and it retails for $92. It is heat synthetic fiber, so you can heat it, like use a curling iron or straightener on it up to a certain degree. I don't remember exactly. But I wanted to show you guys this beautiful wig right here. When I first saw it on the website, I what mainly caught my eye was the cut. So this is their silver ombre wig, as you can see. It is silver, very silver, and then it goes into like this ombre brown. I know this is like a weird mix of colors. It's kind of like, I'm not going to lie, the roots are definitely a little bit darker than I thought they would be compared to the photos, but this is why I love review videos because you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like in person. So this is the wig right here, and I just fell in love with the cut, like the layers. I wish I had this much hair and I could layer it like this because these layers are so gorgeous. It's like that Victoria's Secret bombshell layer look. So that's kind of like why I was really drawn to this wig. Here's an up close of the top of the wig, as well as the lace, which I'm going to cut off soon. I haven't cut it off because I haven't worn it yet. And then as usual, they have two clips on the side, as well as one on the back, and then an adjusting strap if you need to adjust it to your head size if it's too big. It does also come with a cap which I'm not sure if I'll be using for this video, we will see. And then also some bobby pins in this cute little little pouch right here with these little rabbits and stuff. Emojis, I think that's really cute. This net right here is a little different from the caps that I'm used to. It's actually like a net. So maybe I will wear it just to see the difference. Like I said, I'm still a beginner. For me personally, the easiest way to wear a wig is with a, cat, a hat, like this one right here. I got it from Amazon, it's like a bucket hat. I'm curious to see what it's gonna look like with the hat. But right now what I'm gonna do is actually cut off the lace. And what I really like about this wig is that I like how it's plucked. Like I like how the hairline is plucked. So it's very natural looking. It's not like all in one line. The plucking isn't all in one line so that it looks like ridiculously fake. So, so far, this wig look abs looks absolutely beautiful. And like I said, the cut is absolutely gorgeous. I know this is like such a weird combination of colors. And the silver is a little more silver than I thought it would be compared to the photos. But I still think it's like really cool. So like I mentioned, I'm not a professional, but I really like the how this wig is designed. Like it has a ton of little hairs in the front, as you guys saw in that little clip. So it kind of makes the hairline look much more natural and believable. Um, I do wish that the part was much deeper. As you guys can see, mine goes like all the way to the back of my head. Um, this one is only a few inches long. Obviously, you can work through that and like pluck it if you wanted to, but I'm just going to try it on as it is. So first, I'm going to get my hair out of my way. And I'm going to use this net right here that it came with. Basically, put it around your neck. So I'm going to put my hair down so you guys can see. I know it looks crazy right now. But just basically, if you have longer hair, you can still conceal it with a wig because I have tried, have done wig reviews where I had like my extensions in and stuff. So you just put it over and your hair kind of like gathers up top and then you just kind of, it's easier if you put it in a ponytail or braid it or something. I'm just going to try the wig on first as it is to show you guys what it looks like. Like without any glue or anything. I feel like I have to tighten this wig because it definitely feels too big for my head. As you guys can like see right here, just kind of like chilling. I can feel that it's a little too big for my head. So I'm going to use this, like the straps in the back, the adjustable straps. I feel like 
the adjustable strap really helps pull this part down to your head so it's not sticking up. All right, let's see here. This is without any glue, like I said. Just, like once you lay it down, do you guys see the hairline? Like how natural it looks compared to other wigs that I have tried, the way that it is plucked. It kind of like fades nicely and you could pluck it even more because this is a lot of hair. I'm not used to having a lot of hair so it takes a while to get used to. Once you lay it down, I think it'll look really pretty but I just wanted to try it on. It is very shiny like out of the box. The black is very shiny. I have some dry shampoo here. That's going to kind of just take away some of that shine. This is not styling it at all whatsoever, just trying it on. I'm not used to this at all, but I absolutely love these layers. I feel like this is just such a drastic ombre. Definitely wasn't what I was expecting, but the cut is so beautiful. So I'm going to try it with a hat. This is essentially the easiest way in my opinion to wear wigs because you can like really conceal the hairline you don't do have to do anything you just throw on a hat whether it's this hat a cap whatever and you just literally go and it just sits comfortably i really love this cut i love these layers you guys if i had this much hair and i could layer it like this if i tried to layer my hair like this i would be left with like this much hair like not even <laughs> at the ends i think this is so pretty I do wish that the silver was more of um, like a warmer blonde color, not like a warmer blonde, but at least like a bleach blonde, but the wig is called Silver Ombre, so it's true to description. I have some glue here, got to be glued gel. I'm going to apply the glue right along here, dry it with my hair dryer, and then try to apply it. I will say that it's a little bit too big, like right around my ears. Um, that's something that I would have to cut away, which is not really a problem. I would definitely pluck the middle part right here so it looks much wider and more believable, especially for me because I do have like um, much thinner hair than this. So. It would just make it look much more realistic in my opinion and I'd probably even go farther back. If you wanted to, you could even lighten the roots a little bit with like a brown spray or something so that it matches the ends. They do have sprays like that. I do want to try it out. Um, but I do like that the roots are darker instead of lighter. It's easier to get away with um, wigs because what you can do is even pull out some hair and make it look like you have like a little baby hairs coming up. I have to try that as well to make it look more natural but I definitely feel like the part needs to be wider in order to be um, more believable. But I wanted to review this wig to show you guys what you're getting when you order like straight, straight out of the box. But the hairline itself, I actually really like. I think it's very realistic. It kind of goes like this and then it has a ton of baby hairs like right out here that make it look much more natural. The part is probably the only thing that I would mess with to make it look more natural. Look at all of this hair, you guys. I wish I had this this much hair. And it's it kind of like tapers in like a natural way. I think it's super pretty. Let me show you what it looks like from the back. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. But this is basically the wig like straight out of the box. This is essentially what you're going to get when you order this lace front wig. Um, for being under $100, I think it is a very nice quality. It does tangle, um, so you do have to be careful. Synthetic hair tangles much faster than human hair wigs. But for the amount of hair that you're getting, I think this is a fair price to pay. I think they did a really good job with the hairline as well, especially if you're a beginner and you're not that great at plucking like me. Um, I don't think I'm going to pluck the hairline at all if I'm being completely honest. I think I would just do like this right here. I'll try to do that towards the end of the video. But I wanted to show you guys like straight out of the box 
what does this wig look like and the website is weekend wigs like i said like i mentioned in the beginning and if you don't feel comfortable you could always put on a hat you can put on a cap or a hat like this i think it'll make a really cute photo i absolutely love the layers i love the cut i think they did an amazing job when it comes to like how they layered this wig it is absolutely beautiful it does shed a little bit i think that's normal so let me go and see if I can like work with this a little bit because I feel like my forehead is just like I'm not used to This is probably as natural as I can make it look in this video without messing with it too much I did add a little bit of eyeshadow right at the part to kind of make it look a little more realistic but I would have to pluck it through the back so for me personally, it would just look so much more realistic if a wig had like this much hair. But I know a lot of people wear wigs because they want a lot of hair. And this is a lot, a lot of hair, which is good. You could pin it up halfway like this if you wanted to. I think that looks really cute and actually looks very believable. Something that you could wear in public. You can do like little space lens if you wanted to, but I personally chose this wig because I think it has an absolutely stunning cut to it. I know the color is a little more than what people are used to, but I think that definitely makes it unique. I do wish it was a little less silver, but this is a silver ombre wig and they have tons of different options as well. So this is what it looks like from the back once again. I personally absolutely love these layers. I mean, look how pretty are they? So this is my short video review, like an unboxing, first impressions, straight out of the box kind of situation of weekend wigs, lace front synthetic wig. Personally, I think it is a beautiful wig. Definitely has a ton of potential. And I think it'd make a really fun collection to anybody that um, uses synthetic wigs. Like I keep saying, I really love the layers and the cut on this wig. My battery is actually dying, so it's like perfect timing. But that is my short video review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will leave the link down below. Check them out. Check out Weekend Wigs. They have ton of selection. I think I'm going to go and play around with the hairline a little bit and figure out the best way to wear it on me. But this is just a, like a first impressions unboxing type video, video. Like I said, I'm not a wig expert. I don't claim to be a wig expert, but that's my little review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in future videos.